Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to show you four reasons millennials should start a solo 401k if they are able to do so. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. So I've done a whole bunch of videos before about solo 401ks. Uh, this basically shows the how, how contributions are made. If you have a Fidelity solo, for, uh, solo 401k, how the contributions work out. There's employee elements and there's also employer profit sharing contributions. What I wanted to talk about are what are the benefits for millennials in particular to start a solo 401k, also known as a one participant 401k. Um, Vanguard has another name, they call it individual 401k, and then Fidelity calls it a self-employed 401k. But for millennials, there are some very special reasons to do the solo 401k, starting with the fact that you can put away a lot of money in these plans. Uh, $22,000 is your elective deferral, if you're an uh, employee deferral, um, it can be up to 100% of compensation, uh, up to the limit of $22,500 in 2023. And these numbers go up every year. Also, you can add 25% of, of your compensation as an employer non-elective contribution. Uh, and then for the maximum you can put in, it's $66,000 in 2023. So if you have a business that qualifies for doing a solo 401k, and the IRS, this IRS page actually explains the details in uh, Bogleheads. If you go to the Bogleheads wiki on bogleheads.org, they also explain the requirements for it. But if you can do it, you can put away some serious cash for your retirement um, if you're a millennial using the uh, limits that they have on this particular page. So that's reason number one. Number two, because you're a millennial, this means that by definition, you know, you were, you were born between uh, as 1980 and the year 2000. This means that your money will have many decades to grow, to compound. And compounding is really one of the ways that uh, retirement savings can really grow over time. And I, as, as a Gen Xer, I'm a little bit older than the millennials. I really envy the millennials that can take advantage of this particular type of retirement savings vehicle because compounding will let this money grow very, very rapidly. Um, not very rapidly, I should say, will grow sizably over time, assuming that you know the market generally follows a growth trajectory, which it has uh, for the past 100 years. With of course noting that there are some 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 dips and there are some off years as well. But generally, the trend has been gradually going up. So um, compound compounding uh, compounding the money that you put in there uh, with growth, if it's invested in the right types of funds, you know indexing or whatever, that's the way to go, and that really can help you as a millennial take advantage of that. Number three, the number three reason why millennials should consider these solo 401k plans is they give you a lot of freedom. Um, if you've ever thought about starting your own business, like in this particular uh, contribution form here, it's Acme Corporation. If you can start a little company or a sole proprietorship or a C Corp or an S Corp or an LLC or something like that with just you and your spouse, you can start to do it. And it can be a business selling real things. It can be a retail business. It can be a contracting business. It can be a consulting business. You know, millennials, they have lots of expertise. Uh, they, this, is, this is the time when they're thinking about striking out on their own. And the solo 401k is really a vehicle which can help you save a lot of money, which wasn't, really, which wasn't possible before with the limited options that were available to people that were running their own business. So this is kind of part of the independence mindset that a lot of millennials have. Uh, to strike out on their own. And yes, you can have not only a real retirement savings plan with your company, you can actually save more money than you could with many traditional types of 401ks and making some uh, good choices about the investments that, that um, go into your solo 401k. And then finally, the fourth reason to do a solo 401k um, is if you have another job, you can still have a solo 401k. Even if that other job, let's say your day job during the weekday has a 401k already, you can also do a solo 401k with with this extra money that goes into it. Uh, the thing to keep an the, the number to keep an eye on is the total contributions. So the total contributions for your two 401k plans, they sh it, it can't go above the levels that are specified on this IRS page. And read through the whole IRS page so you understand the other requirements for this, but Right now, for instance, for, for ourselves, um, I only have my solo 401k, but my spouse, who is also an, a part-time employee of my company, she has a, uh, she has a regular 401k through her, her day job. So she's, she's setting aside money through that plan. And then she's also putting away a little bit of money 
through the solo 401k because she does some part-time work for the company, um, usually on the weekends. So those are the four reasons millennials should consider starting a solo 401k. For more information, go to the IRS website. Uh, you can also check out the Bogleheads page and also Fidelity, Vanguard, and other companies. They have similar pages that explain how to get started with solo 401ks. This is Ian Lamont from In 30 Minutes Guides. If you go to in30minutes.com, you can check out the different books that we have on things like Social Security, Health, Technology, other types of guides. Um, these are written by professionals, experts in their field, and I hope you can check them out if you have a chance. Also check the show notes, which has some links that can help you out. Thank you so much for watching.